Hey friends, sand due to the travel bug, we are dining in the middle of the magic at one of Disney's signature upscale dining experiences and we're bringing along the kids. Tiffin's is located inside Animal Kingdom theme park in Disney World. Now one of my pet peeves as a former Disney travel agent is helping guests book a restaurant that little Johnny would like to eat at. This is Disney, people. They cater to kids. Have an adventure with your meal and choose something different. All the restaurants have kid menus, so eat chicken fingers at home. Tiffin's is a world of flavors with a globe-trotting menu, and their interior celebrates the Imagineers who built Animal Kingdom. The name Tiffin's refers to the tiered containers that working men in India use to carry their lunches. We start our dining experience next door at Nomad Lounge. Nomads make specialty cocktails and mocktails from across the globe. I got a Anna Peruna Zing, gin, passion fruit puree, mint, lime juice, and topped off with ginger beer. Our table is ready and we're escorted into one of the three dining rooms that honor the spirit of Africa and Asia. The menu here is packed with unique and delicious options. Mr. Travelbug and I decide to split the whole fried fish with coconut fried rice entree. The kid menu here has a create your own option where the kids pick a protein to be served on a skewer with their two favorite kid friendly sides. I'm so happy they had something that I have. That you like is on there? What did you order? Shrimp. Shrimp? You do like shrimp. Or oh, fried shrimp. Yeah, and I think it's gonna look a little different, but we try new things, right? Yeah. Cool. Marco, what'd you order? I ordered the I ordered the beef ske uh, skewer, and I also ordered a fruit cup and a brownie for the end. I love brownies. We started with, and I highly recommend, their signature bread service from around the world. Not every single one was a hit with our youngest, but it's a small commitment and a great experience to try all the different breads and dipping sauces from Brazil, Thailand, and India. It very tastes like jelly. Yeah, it's delicious, huh? Guava, mm. Daddy says it's not hot. Is it hot, Daddy? Daddy says you're overreacting. It's good. Yeah, do you like it better than the one before? No. Hey, you. So it's parents for the win. Our entree was the biggest hit at the table. Our boys just loved the way the fish looked served whole, and both actually helped us eat it too. What kind of fish was this? It just says sustainable fish on the menu. Um, this one was striped bass. It was a good very fish. Good. Yeah, very meaty. Yeah. 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 There was a. We were very afraid that it would be a lot of work involved and very little meat, but not yeah. the case, huh? No, it was very easy to stay away from the bones and big chunks of white meat, and it really, really good. The kids' meals still fit the traveler's theme, with being skewers with light glazes of ginger and tamari, but plain enough for the kid palate. And of course, we finish with dessert, because today we are celebrating. The Lion King Caramel Mousse Brownie with strawberry mango sauce was the winner, but Marcos had a very special message. Tiffin's and Animal Kingdom theme park made this an unforgettable birthday. Dear Marco, Happy birthday to you. Ta -ta -cha. <laughs> you got my imaginary candle. For more unique travel shows, like and subscribe to see where Doodlebug goes next. You'll be on Haley. <laughs> <laughs>